Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8 Bit Air. Today we are going to take a look at Star Wars Pinball for the Nintendo Switch. It came out both physically for $29.99 and digitally. And who doesn't like Star Wars? I know I do. So let's go ahead. We're going to check it out today and see what it's all about. Now this is actually made by the same people who made Zen Pinball. There's actually quite a lot of features. There's experience, there's leveling up, there's a light side that you can choose or a dark side where your experience points go towards. There's a career mode, single player mode, there's a league play, galactic tournaments, you can unlock jukebox songs, everything like that. A lot of tables, a lot of unlockables. I like that right away, but the thing that I like the most is the amount of fan service and presentation, attention to detail that this game has. I'm gonna walk us through some of the boards and stuff. I've been playing career mode quite a bit. Uh, just to show you guys, there's a few operations that you can do with career mode. There's like five of them. They have about 12 tables each. And um, there's certain like requirements and goals that you gotta get for score. So you can see right here, you get these holocrons. The first one was at 1.359 million and so forth. And they're all themed on different Star Wars stuff. There's like the movies, there's the Clone Wars series, the Rebel series, you name it, Rogue One, spinoffs. A lot of Star Wars fan service here. And I've had a blast. There's some voice acting, some cool sound effects, everything like that. So I'm going to show you guys on uh, some of the stuff about it. Now here's where I showed the choose your side. Basically points that you earn towards your score go towards a light side or dark side. So there's cool little things like that. And you can earn force powers and talents. Like for example, I have level 3 speed which slows down the game for a limited time to make a precision shot. Uh, so yeah, enough of me babbling on like a baboon. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these Star Wars pinball um games on here so we're going to play a solo match we're going to complete some specific missions things of that nature um these aren't based on any real boards at all um these are all like i guess uh made up fancy boards that have like 3d um characters and stuff like you can see han and chewy are up at the top now forgive me if i I'm not playing to the best of my ability. Talking and playing games at the same time is incredibly difficult, as you can see. That was an epic fail right there. But I'm a lot better than you think I am or that you can see that I am. Now, this one is clearly based off of the Solo movie, which is really cool. You see the Millennium Falcon in the middle of the stage. You can see the cast of the characters. There's a lot of artwork and stuff. Good voice acting. Now, I don't think they actually got the actual actors, like, you know, like Harrison Ford and Mark Hamill and so on, to do any voice uh, voice work. I think they might have gotten, like, impersonators to quote a lot of the movie scenes and stuff. But you can see it's pretty standard as far as uh, pinball games go and stuff. Again, this is made by the Zen Pinball um, team. And, uh, yeah, just to give you a taste, this was the solo table right here. And I'm playing single player. And, uh, yeah, so let's go ahead. Oh, look, Lando. Too late. All right, so we're going to move to the next one. I don't want to be too long on too many tables because I know there's only so much pinball you guys could see. So that was single player. Let's move to career mode just so you guys. This is actually where I have the most fun at. Um, let's find a cool pinball table. Let's do this one that's Kylo Ren themed or First Order themed. Uh, honestly... I, what attracted my attention to this the most is the amount of detail. Like, look at this. We got Captain Phasma. We got, you know, look at that. Flamethrower action. So this is a two-ball challenge. A lot of the stages on single-player uh, career mode have different challenges. Like a two-ball challenge, a five-minute challenge, score challenges, things like that. And this is, uh, you know, if you've played any other pinball game, ZR and ZL are used to... Uh, to control the flippers. Um, sure. <laughs> yeah, I just failed my two ball challenge right there. But uh, that's not my best score. Actually, oh no, I have one more. Here we go. So uh, there are online leaderboards. So you can see where you rank up against people online and your friends and stuff. You can even set up your own tournaments. You can create tournaments. So that's, a, that's actually a pretty nifty idea. You can make a private tournament 
So let's say, for example, if I wanted to make a pinball tournament with you guys, I can call it like the 8BE Star Wars Pinball Tournament and give you guys a code to where you guys can join. And I think that would be pretty, uh, pretty choice, if you must say so myself. So there's a lot of unlockables. Let's see, uh, what was another fun one that I remember seeing? Um, there's actually stages that aren't even uh, pinball. There's like um, shooting, shoot 'em up types of stages, but there's also this lightsaber challenge, as you can see, which is kind of, it reminds me of the Star Wars Trilogy Arcade. Like, look right here. And uh, basically you use certain button presses to, uh, to block it. I missed that one. You are not a Jedi yet. You are not. Here you go. See, so basically you have to kind of gauge left, right, or up to where Vader is going to strike. Good. There we go. Very nice. How much? And you can see there's a score challenge. Um, actually, the user interface is underneath my camera as we're speaking. But uh, for every certain goal that you meet, you get a piece of holocron that goes towards buying certain Jedi powers or force powers I must say because you're not just a Jedi in this game you could choose you know see so there's there's where I ranked up right there I got you know a little over a million my previous best was 100 I mean 1 million 600 and I contributed 778 XP towards the light uh, I had I, I could uh actually I haven't even assigned my force powers so let's let's assign um Let's do misdirect. And uh, there we go. So now we have some force power. So let's see just how these add up. Because uh, the, the whole selling point is the power-ups and the different types of options and stuff that you can do with this game. Jedi Knight and French Captain Solo. So this is a distance challenge, which I think is just basically um, see, how, see how long you can go within a certain amount of time. You can see there's parsecs up at the top. <laughs> so I'm going. I have 190 parsecs left. Nice little reference for a uh, for the Kessel Run, right? Look at this artwork on this board. Honestly, fantastic. That like I love the fan service, the atmosphere, the presentation. If you're a Star Wars fan, you definitely will enjoy this game at the utmost. Uh, now, of course, playing a video game of pinball. It's not the same as actually playing a pinball machine. You know, nothing beats the real thing. And my, my main big grip with video game pinball games is the, the, the flippers. Like, it doesn't matter how hard or soft you hit the button. See, like, like I'm hitting the flippers, like, real fast, right? And real hard. But if I hit it soft, like, like that, it still hits the ball the same. So you can't really manipulate the momentum or speed of the ball. So I don't like that when it comes to video game pinballs, like, you know, pinball games. So I know you can't really hold it on that because, of course, it is emulating the experience. Um, but it's still a really cool game. Uh, the other thing that's really cool about this game is you're actually able to play in vertical mode. Let's say you pull the tablet out and you want to, like, switch the orientation of the, of the table. You can and you can play it, like like vertically so if you have like the switch the switch flip or the flip switch grip you can actually like really simulate uh, a pinball machine all right here we go guys pretty legit whoa that's got it's got some good good pointage there didn't i nice all right, so let's touch on some of the other stuff. I'll move on. So as I mentioned, um, there is league play. Now league play is kind of cool. It's kind of like you 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 go against somebody's score. You see, like you could stay in the top fifty to advance to the next league. Right now, uh, I'm one eighty one out of three hundred eighty four people in the league. Um, basically, you pick somebody's score. Like, whoa, these guys are gigantic. This must be gold league. But look at these guys' scores. So the idea is to uh, to target those guys holy smokes those are some high high scores here um you know what when in rome right let's uh let's let's go for the nine five let's see if i can do it <laughs> so uh this one's gonna be the clone wars uh themed uh stage and you know clone wars and good boy animated series lots of uh lore and stuff in it i'm glad it's still canon 
you know, Disney went and changed a lot of stuff, but I'm glad it's still canon for the most part. So this one has uh, Anakin Skywalker right there in the middle of the screen. And Obi-Wan Kenobi right there, Dark Maul. All right. So, yeah, you can see, for the most part, pretty standard, but it's still cool to look at the artwork, hear the sound effects. Uh, the music I have set off. There's a setting, actually, for streaming and Let's Players that turns the copyrighted music off because I do not need John Williams giving me a strike. Oh, look, and then forgot you could change the, the view. See, like, I'm following the pinball now. Or you can do that way, do that way. You can do above if you really want to experience the experience. And then you can actually follow the ball itself, which is which is kind of challenging, actually, if you think about it. Because you don't see the flippers. All right, so let's back out. I'm not going to try to go after, uh, after that. Let's equip. Can I equip? No, I cannot. I forgot to, to equip. I have not <laughs> shown you guys the force challenge. Oh, I just forfeited that league play. That's probably going to go against my score, but you know what? Ooh, well. Let's go. I want to show you guys the force talents before we before we move forward because I, I meant to do that, and then I didn't. Oh, because it reset. You have to set it for every single board. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I thought it, once you set it and you equipped it, it would be for everything. I forgot that it clears out, and you gotta, you can have specific abilities and stuff. So this is the fighter challenge, as you can see right here, and it plays a little bit like Galaga. You use the ZR and ZL to like move. You gotta avoid the asteroids. So there is a variety in this game. You know, this isn't a pinball, just strictly pinball. It has a little bit of arcadey feel and stuff to it. So that was me using the slow-mo right there. It doesn't really translate well with a stage like this. So let's move on. I'm all over the place, right? But it's just because there's so much information. So much stuff. So many unlockables and stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, we will do this stage. So let's let's play. Shall we? <laughs> All right, so there is like cool little local modes and stuff like that as well. I really like the the Ewok, the Ewok theming on the sides with the Ewok vi village on the right. And, uh... So so let's let's do slow mo. I'll show you guys what slow mo does. So you can see, there's my slow mo. Of course, there's cooldowns and stuff, but you can make a little bit more skilled shots. Like that. Makes it a little bit easier, you know, nice little, neat little perks to change things up a little bit. <laughs> little Ewok talking. That's always cute, right? Oh, look, Jabba's laugh. Alrighty. I love that sound effect from the movie. It's so, like, scary. It is the only way you can save your friends. It is the only way you could save your friends. Well, I guess you guys get the general idea. Uh, this was Star Wars Pinball. Honestly, for 30 bucks to get it physically and stuff, if you're a fan of pinball. Actually, Scratch, if you're a fan of Star Wars in general, I do think that it is worth giving it a little look-see and seeing if you could sneak, seek your teeth, sneak, sink sink your teeth into it i've honestly had a lot of fun i haven't been getting anything done on my off time playing this because i'm addicted to to arcade-ish type of games like this so i do think for its money the amount of unlockables and features and stuff on it you know online leaderboards um, unlockable content like music and different boards you know force abilities uh, leaderboards that you can like leagues and stuff you can have a private tournament and uh lots of different modes basically as i'm tongue-tied i do think that is worth checking out for its price guys but that's that's it if you are brand new to the channel don't forget to throw that subscription 
uh, and smash that like button. I will see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to do your homework, kids. Have a great day, and uh, may the force be with you.